Tracy Gaudry uh, here at the start of the race for the Santos Women's Tour down under Novatech Stage 2 and the race continues to grow. What's your perspective on it coming in this year? Well this race is now four years old and it, and it started off as a national series race then a point two race for those who understand terminology and now point one which is only one step below the Women's World Tour. However, this race has year after year punched above its weight in terms of the way it provides for the riders, the conditions, uh, the standard of racing and importantly the coverage. Uh, we're getting worldwide coverage, there's race highlights and the thing that we're finding every year is the teams are getting stronger as they come out, the higher ranked teams in the world are coming out to Australia at the start of the season and the stage today is one of those stages that is going to really sort out the girls from the women as such because it's a mountaintop finish and a super steep hill. I was here last year and I think this year it goes over the top and a little bit further. So it's the sort of stage that everyone's looking forward to and it's great to be here today. And what are you expecting overall from the race itself? Uh, not only today's Queen stage but a, a pretty high profile finish for the community in Stirling. It's been used for the men's circuit for many years. Now it's being used to conclude effectively the, the proper stages, road stages, the women's race. Uh, how do you see it rolling out beyond this uh, this Queen stage today? Well today we'll, we'll have a big, big role to play in sorting out GC. Depending on whether a break goes down the road, it's quite calm here in the village, but it's it's windy out there on the road. So we could see GC being shaped here. And then obviously, you know, Sunday stage, there'll be sprinters again trying to have a final stage stage, which was really important for the ego, um, as well as setting up confidence for the season ahead. So what this race does on the whole is it just builds the confidence of the women. It gets them into the race mode for the season. And having a final stage that's out in the public, um, we hope to have great crowds at the start and importantly great crowds at the end uh, to coincide with the end of the women's race and the eve of the start of the, the men's tour down under. And overall for the Santos tour down under, over 20 years old now and more and more young kids, both boys and girls getting out here in cycling jerseys. What does the race overall, both men's and women's and the festival mean for cycling development in Australia and the broader region? Well the Santos tour down under and now the Santos women's tour down under, uh, the men's tour is 21 years old this year. That's an amazing milestone. It has its place outright as the first world tour event around the world right here in South Australia. And it's the event around the world that showcases how you can bring grassroots cycling, the community and professional cycling together. The tourism element of this event um, is second to none, well, potentially the Tour de France around the world. And year upon year, more and more Australians and internationals choose to make their summer holiday destination right here in Australia and what better combination could you have? Thanks for speaking to us. Thank you very much.